today I'm going to show you how to create the most badass YouTube intros for your channel. It doesn't matter what kind of content you create, I'm going to cover all different kinds of intros and also show you a logo reveal that you could use in your intros and it's super easy to do. So the first thing you wanna do is click the link down in the description. It will take you to this website called Envato Elements. It's an incredible website that has an insane amount of DaVinci Resolve assets that I've been using actually for the last couple months. There's a free seven day trial, so make sure to take advantage of that. And what's awesome is with the subscription, you can download as many different things as you want within your subscription period. And then also it allows you to pay monthly or annually. Now, I highly suggest doing the annual plan because let me tell you, I thought I was only going to use one month and now I'm on month number four. So definitely do the annual plan. It's absolutely the best website where you get the most value for your money. Once you've signed up, select video templates, then select DaVinci Resolve. And here you'll see a bunch of different templates that are available. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on the urban opener and select download. Then add to download and it should download a folder for you. Open up DaVinci Resolve and once you get to your projects, right click and select Restore Project Archive. Go to your Downloads folder, go ahead and click on the drop down menu. And this specific urban opener actually has two options. You have a 23 second and a 12 second. We're just going to open up the 12 second. So what I'm going to do is click on that project DRP and drag it into the folder in the DaVinci Resolve window. Then select Open. Then select OK. Once you've done that, double click on the urban opener. Now I am on a Mac, so if you come down here to the cog and you select the master settings, and then you scroll down and you see the optimized media format and render cache format, these by default are for Windows machines, so I just click on the ProRes LT and turn the seconds down to one second. Then go ahead and click save, turn your playback on to smart cache, that way it kind of renders while you work on the project. So once you have this window open, what you can do is come up here to your media pool, and at the top left, you'll see master. Go ahead and select placeholders. And what you can do is double click on placeholder number one. And you'll see these two markers. What you'll want to do is drag in some media from another folder or just put it into your media pool and then drag it in between these two markers. Then select the render tab. And if you don't see the render or placeholder tab, you can click on your timeline view options and turn this on and off to toggle back and forth. Then what you'd wanna do is replace the placeholder for each frame coming up in this intro, depending on how long you wanna go for. Now I recommend keeping these intros short and sweet. And if you use this individually for a specific video, that's awesome. You can reuse this template for different types of videos. All right, so next what you wanna do is come up here to the text option under the assets and double click on title number one. Then go ahead and select the text plus then up here on the right hand side, you will see the word urban. You can type in whatever you want and it will create this awesome effect when you go to render it. It's kind of like a glitchy effect. It's super awesome, really neat. So now as you can see, this is what we have so far. And like I said, you can just continue to replace the placeholder spots with video clips, depending on how long you want your intro to be. Let's hop back into the website and type in elegant logo. Go ahead and download the quick logo reveal. So go ahead and open up that folder you just downloaded for your logo reveal. Now you're not going to import this like you did the previous intro. What you're actually gonna to wanna to do is, obviously I'm on a Mac, but you want to go up to your library, select application support, select black magic, and then scroll down until you see fusion, click on fusion. You'll want to drag the QLR into the macros. Jump back into DaVinci Resolve, click effects, go ahead and drag a fusion composition inside the timeline. Click on Fusion with your playhead over that clip. Hold down Shift and press Spacebar and type in QLR. It'll bring up this node. So what you'll wanna do is connect the QLR node to the media output. Then what you wanna do is find your logo or an image that you'd want to reveal and drag it into your node graph down below. Then connect that node to the QLR. With the QLR node selected, you can come up here to the logo size and make it a little bit bigger. You can adjust the colors of specific things like lighting, background color, and the background light opacity. Come back here to your timeline and let the logo reveal cache itself. I hope you guys enjoyed my little secret of where I get all my filmmaking tools. Like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video.